everyone, this is Miss K from teacherblogspot.com. I'm here today to show you a new math website called iknowit.com and they are from the makers of Super Teacher Worksheets. And um, what's great about iknowit.com is you can take these lessons and you can use them as assessments, you can get an easy grade, or you can use them for review for your students before or after a test. You can differentiate for those kids who are accelerated learners and give them some lessons that are a little above their grade level. So I'm going to take um, some time and show you a look through a first grader's eyes at what they would see. Now I've already kind of set this up to where um, you can see a student that I've already given ass assignments to. And so um, you can set up a free account, by the way, until... August 2018, which is a great thing for you to try it out with your students before the end of this year. Um, so anyway, as you can see here, I've made up my student. Her name is Susie, and Susie has two lessons that I've given her for assignments. And um, if you scroll on down below here, you can see that she has access to all the other first grade lessons too. So once she's done with these two assignments up here that I've given her, she can come down here um, and work on some other ones. Like if she wants to learn a little bit more about fractions or measurement, she can scroll down there and do some, some learning on her own. So I'm going to show you what happens when you go into a lesson. So here is something about solid shapes. So choose the cylinder and What's great about this is students have a variety of questions where you can just click on the one that is correct, like multiple choice. Um, they also have click and drag and fill in the answer. So they have a variety of choices. And also, as you can see, they have a nice little animated robot over there. And um, there's also an animated monster, which hopefully you'll get to see in another lesson. But um, the more answers the kids get right, the more the robot does like crazy things over there, which is great for kids to feel rewarded after they get a question right. Um, and something else that's great is over here, the kids can see their progress. They can see, now I'm, I shortened this lesson and I only gave her five problems. And we can see she's on the second one out of five. Now you can assign kids up to 100 problems if you feel like they really need to practice. And I can see that I've gotten one right so far. So that's good for students to be able to track themselves. So anyway, here's a great one for the kids to drag the shape. So cubes, hmm. And I love how they did this, where they turn the cube on this edge, because normally you only see cubes sitting on their bottom, their base like that. So this is great for kids to have to look at it different ways. And a skinny cylinder, and a fat cylinder. So they're really targeting misconceptions here. So, choose the cone, and this is a simpler one. drag the cubes into the box. I really like that it gives kids a chance to do different types of questions. So. Now, as you can see, the kids get to see their score. They get to know how many they got right. Now, as, as a teacher, what you can do is you can come over here and you can actually see what the kids got right and take a, a score out of this. There's also a place in the website where you can go as a teacher and see the kid's progress. And so this is not the only way you can find out what their score is. So let's go back and, and notice that the assignment that she just had went away because she completed it. Now Susie has all of this down here below that she can choose from or she can work on the assignment that the teacher gave her. I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of iknowit.com from a first grader's perspective. And thanks for watching from Ms. K at teacherblogspot.com.